Let me see that dong, baby. That dong, the dong, dong, dong. Um, the hotel is so nice. I love it. Look, there is a beautiful bed, and we have windows all around, so we have an amazing view. about this craft brewery here called East West Brewing Company. We came here, it's huge by the way. They have tons of beers. I got the Far East IPA and I don't know how good of an idea it was to come here before eating anything. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling like the two beers are gonna hit me. so that we can go and eat dinner because we're too drunk to walk there so yeah we're going to Chakalabong Chakalabong I wanted to show you guys the menu here at Chakalabong no it's Chakalabong my grab driver taught me that so it's correct so they only have one dish here which is chaga which is an amazing concoction of spices herbs fish and oil and noodles and garlic and whatever it's really good so the point is they only do one thing they do it well so i just ordered it This hotel you can order hot food from the menu and there's also a buffet to choose from so I'm not worried about filling up to start my day. We're heading out, we're going to do some shopping and probably more eating and I'm also doing a bit of good by cleaning the streets of Saigon with my very, very long dress. This kind of shop is my kryptonite. I kind of want to buy everything here. I'm just going to settle and get some really cute bowls and plates. Coffee number two of the day, and it's Cafe Shredda, which is iced coffee with condensed milk, obviously, Vietnamese classic. And yeah, definitely feeling the caffeine and the sugar, but it's so worth it. It tastes so good, and I'm having an amazing lunch at this place called Bang Quang Cafe. It's really, really pretty. They serve really good Vietnamese food and very strong, tasty coffee. This is a restaurant that specializes in classic Vietnamese food. First of all, look at how thick this menu is. It's so crazy. There is one page just for flowers, there's one page for beans, there's one page for mushrooms, there are three pages for different types of Vietnamese vegetables. And the list goes on. I kind of don't know where to start, but everything sounds so good. I'm just gonna leave it in the hands of the waiters. We settled on the classic, a bunch of shit. So <laughs> I've got um, a salad, which is made with bonbon flowers. I don't know what they are, to be honest. There's also pumpkin flowers, there's stewed fish in a clay pot, and there's also one of my favorites. 
soft shell crab. Yes. <laughs> That meal was insane. It was like, okay, my dad always says that the food in Vietnam is totally different from Vietnamese food that you get outside, and this meal is exactly like that. I've had food, I've had vegetables, I've had dishes that I've never had before, and I still have a little bit of room for dessert. Herbal jelly! I'm up, maybe not so bright and early. I was so tired this morning from all the walking yesterday, but I'm on a mission. I'm going to get some ban mi and also my new addiction, Vietnamese coffee. I need some, I need some to wake up. Okay, well, let that be a lesson in Googling which I clearly didn't do very well because the banh mi place only opens at 2.30. So no banh mi right now, but backup plan is my favorite pho. Well, I clearly didn't learn any lesson because we got to the pho place and guess what? It was closed. In fact, it had already closed for the day shift. So I spotted this ban kun and hui cuisine place across the road so we just came across and we've ordered a bunch of stuff so I'm emotional eating right now. I'm very sad that two of my plans didn't work out. The universe obviously has a way of working itself out because after two failed attempts to get food we stumbled upon this place that does Huey food and it was so freaking good. I mean, I know I ordered Bung Bo Huey which is uh, a noodle soup. I may have put too much chili in it though, my nose is running. And I definitely got the Ban Gun which is a steamed rice roll with mushrooms and pork inside. And then we also got this selection of Huey cakes. And to be honest, I have no idea what any of them were, but they were really tasty, they were really sticky and chewy, and I'm really satisfied. Okay, buy me attempt number two, I'm coming. I just need to take a two minute nap. Ban Mi attempt number two was a go. So I got the works, it's got pate, some Vietnamese ham, cold cuts, pickled vegetables. You can see inside. Anyway, we came down an alley where there's a little coffee shop. There are like uncles chilling on the street. We got ourselves some more Vietnamese coffee. Yes! And I am going to eat this. I'm doing the obvious thing and going on a back of the bike tour. We're going on a scooter and we're going to eat a ton of shit around Ho Chi Minh City. After opening our appetites with some Vietnamese style papaya salad, which was really good. It was mixed with air dried beef liver and some fish crackers and this really light sour dressing. We're here at stop number two to eat Kut Chien Bo, which is fried quail and sweet butter. And I'm gonna borrow our guide Lam Lam. Hey. Kut Chien Bo, right? Yeah, Kut Chien Bo. But what does Kut mean? Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> This little thing is the head of the quail. 
and apparently it's a delicacy, right? <laughs> it actually is. So you eat the whole thing in one go? Just dip it in the salt and pepper and lime juice and then here it goes. Yeah. Actually really good. stop where we had crab noodles and it's lucky that I'm a professional eater because now we're going to eat ban seo which is a Vietnamese pancake. Ban means anything made with flour and seo is the sound that the batter makes when it hits the oil. Seo see? in District 2 in Ho Chi Minh City and I've got my new Vietnamese best friend with me, my fan and I'm on a hunt for a really good Vietnamese fish sauce so we're gonna hit the supermarket I've done my research, I know what I'm looking for so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tutorial on buying fish sauce because now I'm an expert so you'll see here you see that number where it says 60? Basically with fish sauce, you'll find that there are numbers that say like 25N or 50N or 60N and that's the nitrogen content and the higher the nitrogen content, the stronger the taste. So 60, this one is as high as it goes. So that means this is going to be a really punchy, strong fish sauce. But I've also read that this brand is about as good as it gets. It's about 40 N, but it's really pure, super umami, so I'm just gonna get them both. We were walking around District 2 and I stumbled upon some really nice stuff. And then we came upon this really cool container art gallery and there was a really fantastic exhibition in there. It's so well curated, but I'll be honest, full days in Saigon has kind of worn me out. It is a very full-on city, so we've come to the deck in District 2 where you can sit by the river, watch boats go by, and enjoy a really nice glass of wine. Cheers! We've been stuffing ourselves with Vietnamese food, but tonight I'm changing it up and I'm having what I've heard is the best pizza in Asia, okay? Not just Vietnam. And look who it is, it's my friend Kay! Yeah, hi! hi. Just went to one of the 
the best speakeasies in Saigon and let me tell you the drinks are actually really good they're very strong however so drink with caution Good morning! I'm still alive after maybe one too many drinks last night but I'm going to get ready it's our last day here in Saigon and I'm still going to get some stuff done. Just like you can't end a meal without dessert, I just couldn't end my trip to Saigon without coming to the best chocolate makers in town, Maison Maru. And I'm sure you can see why. What I think is the best for last. I've been really, really wanting to try this dish since I heard about it. It's called Boon Ryo and it's like an amazing noodle dish that the soup is made of crab fat, yes. And this version here, they put in fish cakes and snails. And it is so crazy good. I mean, this broth here, ah, I'm making a mess. It's so full of flavor. I can tell I'm gonna miss this case. I'm definitely going to crave this. We made it! Well, the bag made it just about. Went around the corner, and now we're almost about to leave. I've eaten a ridiculous amount of crazy good food here in Saigon, and I'm still doing it because the pho in the airport is actually really decent. I've had an amazing time. This place has given me a lot of full stomachs, new experiences, and wonderful people, great shopping. I'm so in love with this place, and I really hope that you enjoy this video, and if you come to Saigon, do what I did, because I had a mind-blowingly good time. To catch up with more of our travel vlogs, and we also have lots of recipe videos and food ideas, so, subscribe, like, and follow. And I'll see you next time.